Hey, Snickers, back in the house, back in the house, back in the house. Oh, yeah. Been a long time. I'll explain later, maybe. Okay, this is Easy OS 238. I've been meaning to do this for quite a few weeks, but he keeps updating it. So this one came out the other day, and I thought, well, i better quickly do it now before it's too late. Now, if you know Puppy Linux, you'll know Easy OS, because old Barry's the man. And this is one of his pet projects. And it's got better and better and better as it's gone along. So I'm going to show you around. There's a few different things from Puppy, but the majority of it is, if you know Puppy Linux, you'll know how to use this. Simple as that. Now, it's made on security, or made for security, so we're using quite a few containers, and you can enable other containers and make your own containers. So everything is sandbanked, or sandbagged, or in the sand, if you know what I mean. But please bear in mind, it's not totally locked down, because it has to have access to parts of the system, like the internet, like sound, etc, etc, etc. But yeah, that's a basic talk through there. Anyway, moving on. We get the usual at the top here, but there's quite a few bits missing from the normal pup. It should connect with your LAN, no problem, and wireless. It all comes around. It's got loads of drivers for it. It's got a little hunky-dory. The download is left less than half a gig, actually. It's quite a small download, and this is on a stick. It's really meant to be a portable di distribution, really. Nothing else. Although you can install it to your hard drive. So I've got Home, www. Uh, that's not Bush. Apps, pet get, SFS get, setup. Edit, console, update. That's a new one. Okay, so if you're going to keep with it and you want to update it to the newest version, all you do is click on update, and this is what happens. And if there's a new update for it, it will do it automatically, and you can change, go up and down the versions as you wish. So I'm going to press enter. Here we go. We're on the latest version, 238. Don't need to do anything, because it's the latest version, of course. Now, the ones with a padlock on are the sandbagged, or sandbanked, or in the sand ones. Yeah. You know what I mean. They're, they're sandy. We just call them sandy. Gold in the sand, like down the south coast. There was a nasty people been leaving all their rubbish down where I live. Not very nice. Okay. So do you as I said before, blah 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 blah. So the first thing I got out of there was update. The second thing is <clears throat> SFS get. Now if you want to install some more uh locked containers, which would call them containers, it's easier. First, you have to choose where you want them from. So you, that one's in the States, but I want something near. So the nearest one to me is in Holland, so that's that one there. Then I can click on Browse. So if I click on Browse, will it do anything? Or do I have to go and do it myself? I found that I have to do it myself in the end, unless you want to wait a bit longer. So if I go and do that again, and we'll see what happens. Are you ready? Look at it again. Now there's only one. So I'm going to Browse again. And we're going to go to Browse. It's going to have a probe. There we are. Okay. You can install as a container. The DevX is what you'll need if you want to do uh, the drivers for NVIDIA, by the way. Firefox, Chromium, FreeCred, FreeCred? No, no, FreeCred, that is. Critter, Scribus, and Skype. There will be more, okay? So I'm going to go first with this one here, which is Firefox. What's that behind? Nope, we don't want that. Go away, go away. So if I quit that one. See, it opens two windows up. I've noticed that sometimes. So we want Firefox, <clears throat> and we download, okay? Well, it was a container, you ready? And download. And we download it. It swings along, as you can see, reasonably fast. We've got these extra things here. This wasn't in Puppy before. If it hangs, you can click on the red button, and it'll help you out, okay? While that's doing that, you've still got the usual trash, zip, and lock over there. Wow, that was quick. We want to install this as a new container, okay? So all you do is click New. And we're done, and the icon is on our desktop. Now I'll show you that one more time. We go back to FSF get, browse again, and this time we're going to get uh, Scribus, only tiny. So if we get Scribus, okay, download, here we go, tiny, tiny thing, but we're almost done now. Bloody blah, 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 over the top. It's going to be a new container. You don't really have to have Scribus in a container, but it's the things you're going to be able to do with EasyOS. It's made to develop for as well, so if you want to make your own stuff, it's really easy to. So anyway, that's that bit out of the way. Containers, okay? If we go to the menu, so we can run click there. Desktop, we get all the usual stuff. So we get our desktop drive icons. A JWM Desk Manager. If you haven't seen it before, I'm going to show you. There we go. You're going to load up. You can change your backgrounds, your themes, etc. Icon managers, screen saves, menu stuff here you can change. It's all basic puppy stuff. So if I go to background, 
and I'll click here, I can choose a different background. Okay, so I'm going to go sunset. That looks good. I'm going to apply that. That looks nice, doesn't it? Remember, you can put your own desktop on as well and your own backgrounds. It's entirely up to you. So we're going to quit that now. So that's good. Nice and bright, isn't it? Look at some icons. They're really busting my eyeballs. This is where you'd get redshift before you go blind, by the way. Okay. Pet get. Okay. I've got pet get and apps. So if we go to apps, this is easy apps. Just gives you an easy way in to get quickly get to where you want to go. So if you want to go to uh, internet here, browser, chat, download, file transfers, all here. Media, the mixers here, the recorders here, the CD rippers here. It's all there. Desktop recorder. <sighs> Bit iffy. Okay. Under personal, your calendar, your wikis, it's all here. My apps. You can just do shortcuts for your apps. And of course you can do spreadsheets, etc, etc, etc. Now say you want to get a different app. So if I want to get a, uh, go to pet get, and I don't want it containerized, yeah? So I'm going to put in here Audacity. So I've got Audacity. And we want to go to all and search and it's going to find, ah, it's found quite a two. Look at that. Wow, I like it. So we want two, 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 one. Now we want this one here. Well, is that a demo? A DMO. I don't know. Could be, couldn't it? So if I click here, let's see what happens. I'm going to examine dependencies because it might need quite a few. Not too many. Yes, it does quite a lot. Let's see what happens. So I'm going to download and install selected packages. We're just going to go straight to that one there to Germany. And it's going to quickly find these packages for us and install them. Okay. Easy as peasy as pie. I'm just going to have some cloudy lemonade. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Now this can take some time, but normally it doesn't. Got some more there to do some. Download packages again. We wait. It will start processing in a minute. And this has found some more dependencies that we need. Which I don't think it will, to be honest with you. Just because I'm just showing you. Do you want to trim the fat? No. So click OK. Let's check for missing files. It goes through it for us. QT base for Abbey 5.11.3. Don't really need that, so I'm not too worried. So we click OK. That's done. So we've now got Audacity. So if I go to the menu, click here, and we go to Multimedia, you will find somewhere Audacity is there for you guys. There for you. Okay. Super duper. Right. That's that bit out of the way. I'll do quickly to the menu. Fun. Multimedia. I install Simple Screen Recorder because it works better, basically, than the one that's here. Sea Monkey comes as standard. If you want Firefox, you have to get it yourself, okay? Under Network, you can do all your Fireball stuff here. It's basic puppy, really, but it's just approaching it in a different way, to be honest with you. Oh, under Graphics, Gimp is already there, MT Paint, Inkscape Vector, the new one there as well. Super duper, the super duper new one. Stuff for your camera, there's your file system stuff. Here you okay? Open up your container. It's one click, remember, in Easy OS and Puppy. It's just one click. Now that can take a little while. There we go. We're done. I'll make that full screen for you. I know for not found, so if I go here and go to YouTube, maybe. Da -da -da. Uh -huh. And it'll come up with this. There we go. We'll click there. Just like that there. And there we go. Hunkily of the Dory. All done. Now you're saying, does it play videos or what? Well, yeah. So if I type in me, so I won't break any laws, and you won't be able to hear anything. Okay. There's a vlog I did, so we click on it. We'll run it through. Advert. It's terrible, 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 terrible adverts. Go, thank you. We're going to change that to 108060. As you can see, works perfectly. You can put dark on as well. Don't forget about that. But oh, it's fun playing your videos. You can put mix on here and do your mixing. There's nothing you, can, you cannot do, really, to be honest with you. Nothing you cannot do. And it runs from a stick. What can I say? There is no excuse not to go and give it a try, because it's a tiny download. And if you don't like it, you can just rewrite over it, can't you? Simple as that. But I rather like it as a project, and it is improving as we go along. Okay, So I'm hoping to see a lot more stuff come along. So yeah, I like it. Easy OS for Uncle Barry. Mm. Sneaky Linux out. I see you later. Bye-bye.